it's me. Now I'm going to be doing a little change in place. Uh, bring back the old Kindle this time. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a website review. This one is actually for a website which I found a little while back called IMSDB. I'll put the link in the uh, description below. But basically, it stands for uh, International Movie Script Database, which is pretty much what it sounds like. So pretty much any film that you, you, know, you really want to watch or see the script of, you can get hold of it on there. Obviously, the really up-to-date stuff, so things like Pacific Rim, I'm not sure on there. I haven't looked at it for a while, but when I originally got my Kindle into for Christmas 2012, I um, downloaded a shed load of books as usual, but then I wanted to read some of the films that I really liked. Now, adaptations of some films that I want are actually a bit difficult to come across. Like, for instance, Terminator 1 and 2 are non impossible to get the proper movie adaptations. So I thought about having a look for the scripts, and I managed to find them. Now, on here, I currently have 19 scripts, which I've read a few times. And um, one, thing I <clears throat> one thing I should point out is that um, you will see it in its original script form. So it will literally be, so instead of it being from left to right, it will be completely in the middle of the page. Now, I spent a good couple of weeks um, sorting through all the files and making sure that they were all actually in sort of book form because when I got them originally the font was all over the place um, spelling mistakes were in there read really badly it had, I basically had to kind of rebuild bits of it so for instance right, here are the 19 that I've got so I've currently got Alien, Alien, Alien 1, Alien 2 Back to the Future 1, 2 and 3, Blade 1 and 2 The Curious Case of Benjamin Button Lost in Translation Paul, Predator, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Serenity, Swordfish, Terminator 1, Terminator 2, and Titanic. Now, I'll give you, I'll show you a quick picture of what I mean, just so you can see what I did. Come on. So, as I said, when you get a, a normal script, it's usually down the middle. I had to convert that, so it looked, looked like this. So it was actually readable, and then I've had to kind of space everything out so that um, uh, effectively it could be read like a book. <clears throat> now, as I said, I haven't looked on that website for a while, but I do plan on at some point on going back onto it. And as I said earlier, I'll put the link down below. <clears throat> now, the other thing I need to point out, if you don't know this already, most Kindles work on a Mobi format, which is MOBI. Um, you can actually convert most um, most Word documents either to Mobi format or PDF. Now, PDF is easier to do because most normal programs like Word and that sort of stuff will will uh, convert it already. Mobi format ones, however, you'll have to go online for. Now, I have found a website called Online Any online converter I think it is. Um, I will attach, I'm going to be doing another video for all programs and websites which are useful to have in situations like this and I can tell you that is on there. Um, so I will, that will prob I'll probably do that my next video actually so I can um, link it to this one. Um, the only problem that I've had is I'm currently writing a, uh, a story myself and one part of it I have to include pictures and every time I try, oh, I have to move. <clears throat> every time I try to add the pictures to the the Kindle itself, it's not keeping it. Its aspect ratio is right, is fine, but it's not keeping it in line with everything else. So, like for instance, the uh, pictures that I, the picture that I have to attach, there's actually f six pieces to it. But what it's doing, rather than starting on zero and then going one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten. It's going 0, 3, which is missing the first page, then going to the second one, missing the third, going to the fourth, then to the fifth, then missing the sixth. Now, if anyone knows how I can get around that, I'd be appreciated on that one because I've converted them to PDF. I've had no luck with that, and I've converted it to mobile format. I've had some luck with one, one file, so that's not too bad. I have a rough idea of what it might be, but 
like I said, if anyone else knows what it is, then they can tell me. Or if needed, I can actually send them the file, then that'll be really handy. And I will actually get a chance to start my little story project. I'm not going to give anything away because, well, to be fair, I don't know how it, how it turns out yet, so it's a bit pointless. Um, but it is an original piece, not like my Star Wars one, which was just a fan fiction, effectively. This is actually going to be a completely revamp of an idea that I had ages ago. And uh, hopefully, it will take less than a year and a half to write, which, you know, story writing is actually a very difficult thing to do. I didn't think it was, but I turned out to be wrong. It doesn't happen often. So, next one will be... Uh, I'm going to do websites and good PC programs to use. To use. So, it's Sunday for me, and it's actually ten past three as I speak. So, I'm going to leave... Oh, God, the flat down is on fire again. Um, so, I'm going to ring off, and I will see you next week. See you later.